What up, family? Today, I'm gonna walk you through a very fun recipe for maple caramel pancakes using Creatures of Habit Meal One Maple Caramel. All right, so what we're gonna use for this is two pouches of Meal One Maple Caramel. Um, I'm using two pouches because I'm feeding my whole family. If it's just you alone, you could use just one pouch, uh, but we'll walk through the whole recipe. So two pouches of meal one maple caramel. We're gonna do one egg per pouch. So if you're only using one pouch, use one egg, two pouches, two eggs. A whole banana that I'm gonna mash up into meal one. I'm gonna do a scoop of vanilla protein as well. And then we're gonna do about a quarter cup of walnuts and then we're gonna loosen up the batter with some almond milk. All right, so let's go. First, we're going to put in our meal one. One. Two. I love making these pancakes with maple caramel because obviously when you think of pancakes, you think of maple syrup and we actually don't need any maple syrup when you make these pancakes because they taste like maple already. Scoop of protein. All right, now that we've got all of our powder, I'm gonna take this banana. You know, the truth is, is that you kinda want a banana that is um, not as like overripe or super ripe um, so that it's super easy to smash because we're gonna take this with a fork and we are going to mash it in the powder. And if you love banana flavor, you can have two, you can do two bananas. Um, I typically do a half a banana per pouch. Now I'm gonna add two eggs. One. Two. And the batter is gonna start to come together. It's almost gonna create like a like a, a light dough consistency. And that's us incorporating the egg, getting the egg nice and incorporated. I kinda like to mix it until there's not that much powder left on the bottom of the bowl. And then I'm gonna add my walnuts. The last piece here is my almond milk, which I'm gonna shake up and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna slowly incorporate it until I get that consistency of pancake batter. Now, we're gonna cook them. So, I'm gonna get a nonstick pan and I'm gonna bring it over to the oven. So, I've got my nonstick pan on the oven. It's over medium heat. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it warm up a little bit. And what I'm gonna cook these pancakes with is some ghee. I love cooking with some ghee. So I'm gonna cook it with ghee, basically a clarified butter, about a tablespoon, drop a tablespoon in there. Let it melt a little bit. So I've got my three ounce ladle. I'm gonna take a three ounce portion of this batter. I'm gonna bring it over to my pan and I'm just gonna ladle that pancake right in there cook like three at a time. And we're gonna let them cook until they get a nice golden brown on the bottom. A couple of minutes, we're gonna flip them and we're gonna let them do the same thing on the other side. So I flipped them, they're perfectly golden brown. And uh, now we're gonna cook them on the other side. I kind of push them down a little bit just to make sure that we're cooking them all the way through because we wanna make sure that that egg is cooked out. Another couple minutes. And then we're just gonna start stacking them. Fat stack. That is one fat stack of pancakes. We just went through the process of making these incredibly delicious pancakes. As you can see, we stacked these high. I had no choice, but I ate a few of them over there. So we made actually 10 pancakes out of two box, two pouches of meal one, a scoop of protein powder, one banana, two eggs, 
and some almond milk and walnuts. There's about eight in this stack right here. Now, you can eat these straight up like this dry because they taste pretty delicious because of the maple caramel flavor profile. However, you can serve these straight up dry like this, or one other really cool thing that you can do with these is that you can put them in like a Ziploc bag and throw them in your bag as a snack later. These, each pancake will have somewhere close to 10 grams of protein in it. Or you do what I do with my kids and we stack these pancakes high and we hit them with a bunch of maple syrup. And then we finish it off, of course, with a little bit of powdered sugar. And friends, this is how you create maple caramel, creatures of habit, protein-packed pancakes.